Right, Shalom, I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rahagash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Peace, blessings, and salutations to your sincere brothers out there pushing the truth across the four corners of the earth. I'm the brother Shaman, out right, of Great Millstone, Chicago. And um, just, uh, yeah, we got to get out of here, man. I thought well, said if he didn't come, you know, in, in time, then it would be no flesh saved. Uh, we would be destroyed. We'd be, we'd, we'd be consumed by this place. And this is, as of late, this is the, the Grammys. This is, you know, this is the music. This is the, 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 uh, um, the music, you know, the vibrations they're putting out for people to follow and for people to listen to and for the kids to see. All right, Sam Smith. Is this guy is a, a mo performing a song, <clears throat> Unholy. All right, un with oh man. All right, then of course you got Madonna. She's at the Grammys doing all kind of weird ass shit too, and just Satan. Right, which recently, you know, they were going into how she uh, um, imports a lot of these kids from uh, these different African countries. And then, you know, all of a sudden their, their, their gender is turned out and turned around. Right, and that's not by accident. That's a big thing here in Babylon. Right, that's why, you know, you saw he's wearing the horns. I think the whole crowd had the, those uh, horns on. Yep, and then he's on there with uh, Transformers as well, of course. And of course, it's, it's got to be some niggas in there with some damn wigs on. And this is what, this is, you know, this is what our people, hey, this is why a lot of our people, they have to be put out of their misery, man, because they're, they're, they're completely reprobates. They're completely void of judgment. And they don't know what the fuck is going on. They got demons oozing on them. They don't understand who their power is and, and, and the rules he has for the things that they can do and can't do. They think that they can just do whatever the fuck they want to do. And such is not the case. And that's why we do these lessons and videos and, and try to warn our people. All right, but ultimately, two-thirds of the nation of Israel is ultimately going to perish anyway. So most of our people are not going to listen and they're going to die. And right, then you have the wicked, you know, Israelites worldwide. All right, so this is Romans 1. And you should never be bored reading the scriptures. And this is why this is why when you look at these different versions of the Bibles, they they take some of these scriptures out because they they just go straight to the point, straight cut, straight up, no chasing. All right, Romans one, and I'm gonna start at verse twenty-two, twenty-four. Let's get straight to the point. Wherefore, the Most High also gave them up to uncleanness through the lust of their own hearts. To dishonor their own bodies between themselves, and uh, this is at the point where the, you know the Roman Empire uh, was was starting to fade out, right? Because you know Jake was waking up, and they were trying to stop it. That's why eventually they had to expel. You know they had to kick the Israelites out of Rome. Right? Talks about that in Acts. Right, how they had to, you know, hope a bunch of times the Israelites were kicked out of a lot of cities right, because they were rebuking this type of shit. And same with us, man. We rebuke this shit, and then our videos get flagged and taken down. And you had the you had a player uh, forget which team he said no. He said no mo, you know, with the H O at the front, and he had to do an apology. So it's like, damn, man, you can't even say that. But everybody can say nigga this, nigga that, you know. Yep, it says, who changed the truth of the Most High into a lie and worshiped and served the creature 
more than the creator who is blessed forever am I. For this cause the Most High gave them up unto vile affections, for even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. And when you look at the end of Rome, which, you know, the whole thing was 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 this, but when you look at the end of Rome, that, that, that wickedness, it really, it picked up at the end. It started to get more degenerate, you know, with Caligula, and, you know, you read about him and this kind of shit he was into. Matter of fact, I had a quick article, right, um, the, the sex lives of the Caesars, you know, just to, I'm going to just jump around. You know, you had Julius Caesar. He was into some freakism and some weird shit. Augustus Caesar, which when they show him, they show him all manly and masculine. You know, he don't have a beard on his face and none of that shit, but they try to make him all masculine and manly. And he was a great leader of men. Man, a lot of these guys were a bunch of fairies. I believe, yeah, Augustus. Despite sharing many of his predecessors' sexual proclivities, Caesar's successor enjoyed a much better reputation. Um, politically, this justified his mo-sexual escapades toward the beginning of his career, most famously with a council and military writer by whom Octavian allowed himself to be buggered for the bargain basement price, blah, blah, blah. So these were guys, that, and that's what they would do with the Roman Empire. These guys would get with each other who were counselors, who were elites, and then they would, you know, when it was time to influence laws and influence different decrees and stuff, you know, that was their, their, their butt buddy, so they would ride with them. And this is the story for, you know, I'm not going to go through the whole article, but, but this is pretty much the whole story. You know, and if the guy had the wife, if a, if, a, if a Roman Empire had a, emperor had a wife, or, or whoever had a wife, of course, different men was getting with her. All right, she had she might have had a a, a, a dude on the side, I right, wish that's uh, celebrated here. All right, these women committing adultery, and, and, and you know, and then guess what? Our people who went under captivity under that, they followed that way. I just like here. Uh, a lot of this this immoral shit you see with Jake is shit that Esau put out there, right? In, in California and stuff that started off with those with Edomites, you know. Then they would take pictures and all this shit, and then eventually it got the movies, and then you know, now they would in the movies doing all this stuff, and then Jake started to jump in there too. And that's why the scriptures say, go not in the way of the heathen. All right, let's see, Tiberius. T Tiberius holds pride of place. And when they teach you about the Caesars in school, they don't teach you this part, man. They, they, I mean, even, even if your school even has that, that class, they're not gonna expose this. They're gonna make these guys look as, as, as manly and masculine as possible. And, he was a great military leader, and blah, blah, blah. Man, fuck them. All right, the Lord used them to, to, to put us into captivity. All right, we're the real men, man. We got it. The shit that we go through, these Edomites getting this, the same situations, they jump off buildings. All right, we, 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 we're in a low state, and you still got Jake. <laughs> Pull, pulling all the bitches from all the kingdoms. Let me say it like that. And it says, the walls of the imperial palace were awash with pornographic imagery, much like that on display inside the brothel in Pompeii. And with pornography as his backdrop, Tiberius would command his tight bums, groups of young boys whose talents are clear from the name, to perform threesomes in front of him in order to stimulate his flagging libido. Sick shit. Right, from sexual deprivation to simple stripe down sadism during banquets, Tiberius would fill his fill his drinking opinions with vast quantities of wine before tying ligatures around the just come on man.
but it was for that word that Tiberius was most notorious. He trained. Come on, I'm I'm not even gonna read no more of this. Man, this is Romans 1 and 28. And even as they did not like to retain the most high in their knowledge, the most high gave them over to a reprobate mind to do those things which are not convenient. By like being filled with all unrighteousness, fornication, wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness, full of envy, murder, debate, deceit, malignity, whisperers, backbiters, haters of the most high, despiteful, Proud boasters, inventors of evil things, disobedient to parents, without understanding, without, excuse me, covenant breakers, without natural affection, implacable, unmerciful, who knowing the judgment of such, there's knowing the judgment of most high, that they which commit such things are worthy of death, not only do the same, but have pleasure in them that do them. And that's the case with with, with, with with all this wickedness, man. These people, they they have to keep, they can't just do it in their own private life, which is bad enough. They got to put it on TV. Okay, they got to have uh, the young, you know, the, the, the little Nas X or whoever. They got to have them doing it. Jaden Smith or whatever, whoever. And they got to show it. They got to sing about it. They got to, you know, they got to be at the award shows and do you know, they got to show out with it because they want you to do it, too. And that's why all of that shit, you know, what, what somebody do with their own life, that's their business. And then, nah, man, because eventually they're going to try to influence you or your children to do the same. All right, that's what happens with a lot of a lot of a lot of our people. A lot of this, this, this shit goes down. You know, children get invited over to somebody's house and. You know what I'm saying? Jake don't know what the fuck these people into or their family history or none of that. And then little situations happen. All right, that's why we gotta be hey, we, we we need we need our kingdom, man. We need our power. All right, hey, Esau darn what's this what's the movie? Uh Goodbye Uncle Tom. They showed a lot of a lot of that a lot of stuff in there. I said like that. Uh, Esau did a lot of strange things, man. He used to take these women to, uh, I think it's in Cleveland. It's called the, the Tawawa House. He would take all, all, they would take all their bed wenches to like a resort, you know, and have, you know, orgies with them and all kind of stuff. You know, the black woman, man, she's been, she's been put through it. You know, us as men, you know, which which is not to justify her, you know, but it's all through the scriptures, man. You know, that's why us, us ultimately, the charge of our nation, you know, the connection with the Heavenly Father, ultimately, is, is you know, the, is with men. The tabernacle of the Lord is with men. It's with men, ultimately. Because women break, women fold, women can't handle the pressure of this kingdom. Right, they got to show up there, you know, Esau hires them, gets them in the room behind the scenes, you know, gives him his little bullshit speech. Now I need you to do this, that, you know. And the woman is out of order. She throws the wig on. That's a lock if I'm rambling. I'm just, I'm, I'm tired of seeing this shit day in and day out. You know, it's just, it's just, it's the same no matter where you go. You go in the office, it's, you're going to see Esau, the nigga woman with a with a little cheap $50 wig on, you know, thinking that she, she runs some shit. And the whole place is out of chaos. All right, but this is, uh... <laughs> I'm going to shut up there. And this is, this is Psalms 50 and 16. Matter of fact, 15. And call upon me in the day of trouble. I will deliver thee and thou shalt glorify me. But unto the wicked, the most High saith, what hast thou to do to declare my statutes or that thou shouldest take my covenant in thy mouth? <laughs> All right, these people ain't. Declaring the ways of the Lord. Uh, the small hats who signed him and signed Madonna and signed whoever else. They don't, they, you know, they allow them to, they don't, 
They don't have the artists to sing about the Lord. They don't have any of them perform the Psalms. They allow them to do this shit. <clears throat> Come up with, you know, this type of music to put this kind of vibration on 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 up on people. Right, on the world. Right, it says, seeing thou hatest instruction and castest my words behind thee, when thou sawest a thief, then thou consentest with him and hast been partaker with adulterers. Thou givest thy mouth to evil and thy tongue frameth deceit. Thou sittest and speakest against thy brother. Thou slanderest thine own mother's son. Right, but that was the point. That was the point, man. Right, they don't, they don't, they, they, and this is ultimately talking about our people because it says, these things has thou right, thy own, thou, thy own mother's son, your brother. These things has thou done and I kept silence. Thou thoughtest that I was altogether such a one as thyself, but I will reprove thee and set them in order before thine eyes. Now consider this, ye that forget the most high, lest I tear you into pieces and there be none to deliver. So there you go. You got our people who move in the way of the wicked and they doing everything the wicked do. All right? They, they, they cast his words behind them. It says, thou saw us a thief, thou consentest with him. Yeah, you, you went in there, you saw these people who love this lifestyle. And, and and you just join to them. You're doing exactly what they're doing. Given the history of how they treated you and, and your people. You know, the fuck. It's all, it, man, it's all, it, they always got to do, they always got to make Jake the face of this shit. You know, just to make it popular or to make it cool. <laughs> and that's, and, and this is exactly what, it, what happens, man. They said, let, verse 22, lest I tear you in pieces. And there, and the Lord is going to tear a lot of these people into pieces. A lot of these people are preserved unto, uh, for, for judgment, preserved until the day of the Lord. All right. You thought, you know, you thought you made it. You thought everything was good. You know, you might have might have went to the gym or whatever. Been eating good, had a decent job, whatever, you know. But you into this shit. Completely against the Lord, completely against His ways. What's going to happen? Destruction. All right, especially man, you 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 so-called famous famous niggas, man, you Hollywood ass niggas. Because people, you know what I'm saying? When you're a, a, a child, they they can't filter. Children don't necessarily have a filter for what is real, what is fake, what is an agenda. That's why they put a lot of this stuff into the children's uh, programming, right? Programming, being programmed to do what you do. All right, but all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. We can see that this shit is coming to a close. Shalom. So